hello viewers this is a photography once again welcome to this new video where i'm going to show you how to create a professional email signature to use on your email client so as you can see i have got an email signature and i'm going to modify this one and i am going to record this video to show you how you can create an email signature for yourself as well by using a photo a profile photo or logo and or by using the social icons and other information okay so here I am going to use Google Drive uh, or actually Google Docs and you can also use Microsoft Word file as well. So here I have just opened the doc file and I'm going to name this one to email signature. Okay. And then I am Oh, I have also got the icons uh, as well icons and image that I'm going to use as well I've just edited the image here okay so here are the icons and image so you have to get yours as well okay so after getting your social media icons and profile picture logo ready just simply click on insert and then click on table and add a table with 21 row okay or um, columns okay and then you have to enter your profile picture or logo here on this column so i'm going to click on insert again image and then upload from your computer and i'm going to use this image as my profile picture let's make it a bit smaller okay and then we have to drag this table line here all right and now it's time to give a bit of space let me use two space and then i'm going to put my name Ancharol Rafi then my title with after two space okay b i r t u l virtual s s 10 there is a way to add this space automatically but i don't know actually how to add them so i'm using two space instead okay so virtual stand then i want to use my actually freelance virtual assistant let's use this one freelance virtual assistant and then i have to use website email address so i don't actually this is not an active website but i'm going to just put it as an example and then email address md roughly nine at gmail.com and then what i have got i got social media icons okay so now it's time to add the icons and i can also add the phone numbers so i'm just adding a demo phone number here okay so i've just added a demo phone number and it's time to add the icons so i'm i've just go i've just uh, i just inserted two spaces and then i have to again click on insert and then image oops image upload from computer and let's select them all control and then uh left button of your mouse okay so open and all of them has been added it's time to resize all of the pictures to a smaller version facebook linkedin okay twitter and whatever you want to add on your signature okay so let's keep them a bit bigger okay now i have to insert the links oops these are not actually the same size but let me try i wish there was an option to size them all in a uh, same in same size okay so i don't know actually if there is so i'm going to 
fold this one make this one bold and then i'm going to put 14 and then freelance virtual assistant let's make it 12 and prospect gate it is linked gmail also linked and then let's just make this one colorized like this one okay so color is this one oops it's a bit okay freelance virtual assistant prospect gate dot com let's make it bold and this one also or okay bold and the phone number okay plus all right and i think there are uh, some spacing issue it's not looking good like this uh, this so i'm going to select them all and i'm going to give a spacing here to 1.15 okay and these should be resized to 12 as well all right and now we can also uh, make this one a bit bigger let's use 16 okay this one also bold prospect gate phone number and let's add the social links uh, let me just make it a bit bigger a little bit more and we have to make it here okay so now it's time to link the uh, facebook and other other social media links so let's uh, let me find natural Rafi and here is my LinkedIn YouTube Facebook and we have got uh, let's open this one then we have got Twitter here is Twitter okay so I'm just starting from Twitter and here is twitter just click on it and then we have to click on this link button and add this link apply twitter is has been linked and then let's see here is my personal facebook profile so facebook link apply and here is the other one as well okay but it's all right and here is my linkedin profile copied paste it apply and then my youtube channel okay so youtube link paste apply okay so i have just linked them uh, nicely and you can design your template or you can design your signature as you want you know, with the colors or with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, fonts as well okay so let's just normal text area let's give it georgia or sorry calvary and let's see how it works no uh, I think it's looking better than the previous one so I'm going to make it a bit bigger sized or let's keep like this okay no Arial is better than this one okay so that's how you have to design your signature now we don't want to see these uh, borders into our uh, email signature as you can see it's clear okay so now i am going to 
select all of the borders okay it's been selected but i don't want to select this one because i want to keep this one okay and then i have to click on delay to see no it's not being deleted so we have to change the color instead so i'm going to change the color and then again we have to select these borders as well so i'm just hitting on control and then selecting these parts okay okay so now let's change the color and let me make this border a bit bigger border width uh, 2.25 and border is nice okay and let's put a color here this color okay so now this is my uh, new email signature and let's let me show you how to integrate this signature to your uh, email so first of all go to gmail.com then click on this gear icon click on settings and here on the under the general tab you have to go a bit down and then here is the option okay so here's my previous uh, signature i want to change it so i'm going to select by control all delete and we have to move back here select these all things okay and then copy control c and here control v okay so here is our new signature and now i have to click on save change okay so it's been saved now if i click on compose and here is my new email signature okay so if you want to keep the borders you can keep as well as i have shown just select all the borders where it is select the borders like this and put the borders so for example if i'm just keeping like this or maybe let me change these borders colors from here again control o control c and then settings and control o delete control v and here we go control sorry save and it's been saved and now click on compose and here is one new email signature okay so you will be able to design your email signature as you want so i hope this video was helpful to you and if you have found this video helpful please like this video subscribe to my channel and if you have got any question please let me know by commenting below and i have to see you in the next video thank you very much